Hello, my name's Bryony and this is my Road Was Cancer. On the 31st of October 2017, we went to A&E like anybody else, thinking it was just a cold. Got a blood test taken and said we had to stay. I was a bit nervous and worried and I didn't know what was happening. I'd never been to hospital, never stayed in hospital. I panicked. Two days later, I got told it was leukemia, cancer. As soon as we got told, we got rushed off to Royal Marsden Hospital, kids with cancer. There, we got told I had M7, the most rare type of AML. They had a schoolroom, two playrooms, and a TV room and a kitchen for parents. And it was amazing for a hospital. And another two days later, we got taken to St George's Hospital to get a double Hickman put into my side. Because Instead of having pricks and pokes, I would have that instead. So they could get to my blood easy without having to prick me every time. I got a cut up here and down on my side. It was really painful. Then we got taken back to Marsden. I was not in a good state. Then I had to start my journey and I was very nervous, very, very nervous. I couldn't think of anything else but why did I get it? Why me? Why not the person next door? Why not this person? Why not that person? Why me? Why did I get given it? And it wasn't fair. I found it was really not fair. But we just had to carry on. I started chemotherapy to try and knock out the cancer. So we had a few weeks of that and it made me very sick. Then I got to go home for a while, then I came back, and I had a few more weeks with it. I had to stay Christmas there, and it wasn't fun. I was sick on Christmas Day, and we had Christmas lunch, and I couldn't eat it. I slept half the day. I got extra presents, which made me smile, but still. I'd rather be at home when I was there. I got to go home a few weeks later, just for a break. Then we came back again for the last chemotherapy before I had to go into transplant. Meanwhile this was all going on, I got operations on my back where they took out a bit of my bone to check how much cancer I had inside. It got low and low each time till there was nothing and that's when I could go into transplant. Transplant is where they take out a piece of somebody else's bone and put it in my bone through a transfusion. I got blood and platelets every day and at first I hated it. But I got used to it. I felt really sick during my transplant. I just wished I could be home with my dogs and my family. It was horrible and luckily none of you have gone through it. As the weeks went past, it, it went slow but we got there in the end. On my birthday, I got to go home and it was the happiest day of my life.
We went to the beach and I got amazing presents and I'm so happy. But I was home for about six months, I think, at least. And then we got told the bad news. I had to go to the back. And I panicked. I thought we had killed it. I thought we had got it away. But they told us we hadn't, and we had to try again. So I went on this, another course of chemotherapy that wasn't going to fix it, but was going to keep it at bay for now. And I was scared. We were on it for a few more months, and then we went to try for a second transplant. But this time, only one chemotherapy, and then go straight into a transplant. But the chemotherapy didn't work. And I went to St George's, and I was in the room. I was really sick. I had a really bad nose tube, and I kept having green stuff come out of it from my belly. And it wasn't fun, really was not fun. I was really sick, my belly swirl up, my toes went like tree stumps, and I couldn't, I couldn't fix it. Meanwhile, my hair was all just falling out. As this started to go away, we got to go home again, and I was happy. But we still didn't know what to do. We went back to see my consultant, the doctor, to check what else we could do. She found out that there was this medicine being tried in America. This horrible stuff. And... It was tablets that you had to put in and then put some apple juice or water or grape juice. And you had to put some in, swirl it around in this cup and then I had to drink it. And it was the worst tasting thing you have ever, ever tasted. You don't know how bad it was. I had that for a month and then had another stab in my back and yeah it had gone down to 20. We were really happy but we had to keep going with it so we carried on going for a whole nother month <laughs> and when we I got another stab in my back, and when we went to see the consultant a few days ago, she said it had come back up. So here we are today, still with it high, but still fighting on, showing you guys that you can do it, and you should not stop. Even if the hard things come at you fast. Even if the hard things are always there. You should fight. So I'm going to be showing you my journey. Through this bad time and the good times. So. Please. Just. Be happy when you can. And be sad when you can because it's fine. I have been. Why can't you? Please follow me and like and I'll show you how to be strong, how to be sad, how to go through this all.